Hey guys, it's Christopho and welcome to another Solaris tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you how to use Zelda A Link to the Past graphics and music in your project, in your Solaris quest. Um, so, if you go to the, the official website, Solaris Game, there is a Development Resource Packs page. And for now, there is only one resource pack, but maybe ooh, there will be other ones one day, Zelda or not Zelda. But uh, yeah, let's download the A Link to the Past pack. So the links sends you uh, to the the GitHub page of the project A Link to the Past resource pack, which you can download here. Download zip. <coughs> I'm going to put this, for example, here. And then... Um, here it is. Okay. So, by the way, I'm recording with Ubuntu now, but um, everything works the same now that you have installed Solaris and Solaris Quest Editor. I've put some shortcuts here, like I did on Windows. Uh, so, extract. So, I already closed the page, but uh, let's go back. Everything is explained here. To create a new quest, with a link to the past resource, it's quite straightforward. You create create an empty directory and you copy the data folder of the extracted zip. So I'm creating a new directory for the quest. It will be called Tuto Quest Zelda. So Tuto Quest CC it is the one from the previous chapter with only three graphics and sounds, creative commons. Okay, so uh, copy the data directory of the zip into your new directory and you're done. That's it. Then you can open this with Solaris Quest Editor. Let's do that. Load quest. So I never, uh, I never did uh, file new quest. Just load quest. Because we created it as a copy of the pack. Okay. And then it's almost a fully working quest already. There is a small me error message, which is perfectly normal because you need to open the properties of your quest right click open properties or file quest properties and similarly to what we did in the first episode you have to put some information here um, it was called tuto um, tutorial quest, don't remember you can put more information here if you want but um, the important thing to be able to play your game and not uh, staying stuck at the Solaris logo is to specify a write directory which must be different for every game because um, save games are stored in the home directory of the user then a dot .solaris folder then the name you put here. And when we did file new quests in the first episode, it generated a, a random ID here, just to make sure that every game stores uh, it, its save games, every quest stores its save games in separate directories. So you can put any name you want, but uh, it should identify your quest, so it will be 
tuto quest English Zelda. Okay. And this should be good. Play. Okay, and now you you have <laughs> again a very empty map. But uh, Zelda graphics. You can even use your sword already with the C key by default. Okay, very good. So you can see the map, it's here, first map. Not much to see here. But um, you have all music from Link to the Past. You have the sounds. You have. Um, so, uh, not everything is complete. Far from it, actually. We do have all musics. We have most sounds. But um, we don't have all tile sets. We have. Uh, a very nice light world tie set, some dungeon tie sets, uh, the house tie set, the cave tie set, and a few other ones. But we don't have any enemies. We have the hero sprite link with all shields, swords, and tunic tunics from a Link to the Past. We have um, blocks, bombs, boomerang, a lot of things. And uh, okay, and the uh, link to the past phone, but we will see this in another tutorial. Okay, um, so uh, that's it about creating a project with Zelda resources. In the next tutorials, we will always use or almost always use Zelda graphics because we have much more uh, assets here we are still working on the free graphics but um, for now we don't have enough and anyway maybe you're interested in Zelda graphics but if you're not uh, everything we explain of course can be done with alternative sprites and one last remark, um, if you already have your quest and you want to integrate Zelda graphics in it, um, you can't really just uh, copy the data folder like we just did, because it would for sure overwrite some, some files. Um, it's also explained here. Instead of um, copying brutally the data directory, just pick the content you want. You can pick some tile sets, some sprites, some musics, and you can also. You should also probably separate if you really mix stuff. Maybe, for example, you can make a new folder inside your tile sets directory and call it, I don't know, ALTTP or Zelda or something and you put all Zel Zelda content in this directory and same thing for sprites, sounds it will help you organize the, the assets okay um, so now you know how to use Zelda, gra Zelda graphics and sounds in your project and in the next episode, we will learn how to use the map editor. Thank you all for watching, and see you next time. Bye!